Hello and welcome to this video. Here we have a CASP padlock. It's model uh, 14040. And I got that one from Rick Wells in a recent, um, in a recent uh, package. So, um, yeah, Rick, thank you very much for this lock. It's, it's, a, it's a nice lock. It picks very nice. And it has a very interesting feature here with that screw. So, that's the bidding on the key. It's a six pin lock. And works very nice, of course. It's uh, not key retaining. And it has spring tension here on the on the core and uh, on the shackle. Okay, so it's locked up. Let's pick it. Apply tension here from the pin side. And I will start with that pick. Let me zoom in a little bit. And let's see how that goes. So, first searching for a false set. And here we are. Touched some pins or some or one pin in, in the back and got a false set. Now I'm searching for a spool to be picked. And here we are, it's pin one. Not sure if I got it. Oh, I think so. Okay, searching for the next spool. And here we are, it's open. Very uh, very nice pick, very reliable. Not a big deal. Um, the, the shackle is a little bit... Um, yeah, it's not so smooth how it turns, but it uh, doesn't matter. So, let's open it up and look at the pins. Can find a screwdriver. I would say we have at least two spools. All right, so okay, I will lock it, lock it up again to remove the clip. Drivers. Ah, it's okay now. Now it's gone. Hope my follower will fit. If I can find it. Ah, here it is. Oh, that's ah should be. Should be working fine. All right, so let's turn it this way. Okay. Okay, not too bad. Here we are, all six pins are in and working. Oops, one is out, another one is also out. Okay, let's let me sort this. That was one, two, no, it was not two, it was five. Then this is six. Oh quite long, two, three, and four, all right, so that was One, 
One, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh -huh. Six is a standard steel, steel pin. Very interesting. Uh, okay, I think I will uh, sort this and uh, uh, yeah, come back. All right, so here is here is the pinning of the lock. Interestingly, we have uh, lots of security pins here. So the key pins are mostly serrated beside of two, uh, and this one even has a different color, although it's not steel. I, I checked it with a magnet. And the driver pins are mostly mm, spools, but we also have one uh, one with uh, smaller ends. So and one uh, also again with a different color, which is a standard pin. So let me show you uh, the key pin in more detail. So here it is. You can see from the head a lot of scratches, and I think this this comes from uh, normal usage. I don't think this this lock was uh, picked a lot um, because there is no evidence for uh, heavy usage of tension wrenches on the keyway. So I would say it's heavily was heavily used in the past. Okay, and maybe this one. That's the one with the smaller ends. And what else do we have? A close up of the spool. So I could pick this fairly easy, as you have seen unless like uh, American lock for example, American core. Um, and I think this is because maybe of either with uh, either this lock has, has bad tolerances or it was well if it was heavily used so maybe the tolerances have increased uh, by the time. Okay, so much for the gutting, or no, no, um, let me quickly reassemble the, um, the plug to see um, which, of the, um, um, which of the spools actually are act if, were effective. So, hold on. Okay, here we see the result. So, honestly, I was only picking a 3-pin lock. Because if you have a closer look uh, to pin... 3, 4 and uh, 6, you can see that 6 is at the shear line and 3 and 4 are almost at the shear line. So I don't have to pick this a lot when I just uh, insert the, the pick uh, while, passing, uh, while passing through, uh, they are automatically picked. So we have effectively only one gatekeeper or one standard pin. It's the one with the uh, smaller ends. And if this one is picked, two spools uh, at position one and here at position uh, five uh, are holding this plug uh, from from opening. All right. Uh, yeah. So much for the the pinning situation. So now let's explore the screw. All right, so let's remove the screw and see what happens. Uh, it's still uh, empty. The core is still out of house, out of the house. Oops, have you seen? The shickle went out a little bit more, but it's uh, still still not free. So I pull it and it comes out. So here we have the shaker and uh, dump the screw out. And we see the bulbarians because the 
the lock is now locked up again and the barbarians uh, would prevent the shackle from, from coming out. So you cannot just push in the shackle again, it's, it's just not possible. Um, you have to turn the, the cam, I think it's the name, you have to turn the cam and yeah I can do that with the with the plug. Oh no it's still assembled with the pins. Um, yeah, so the screw is just used for uh, for releasing the shackle and uh, I think this is quite handy when the shackle well needs to be replaced. For example you want to have a, a longer shackle or I don't know maybe it was it was cut and you want to replace it. I don't know. Um, there might be many reasons uh, why you want to exchange the shackle. With that system it's it's easily possible and it's quite nice to, to play with it. So you have uh, just, a, just a body here and yeah, you can disassemble everything and reassemble it again. So hopefully. Alright, so that was the CASP uh, padlock. Picked, disassembled and inspected. Alright, so thank you very much for watching, happy picking, bye bye.